walk in peace with our husband walks next to you. That's how we make it feel and feel. As if we're scared of them and we don't want to deal with them. Um, according to my survey, 67% of the class didn't know about X felons in their voting rights in Florida. Well, X felons um, are not allowed to vote in Florida after five years, depends on the seriousness of their crime, they can fill out an application so they can um, get their rights back. And after seven years, if you did murder or rape, you can uh, fill out the same application to get your um, rights back. Um, first, I want to address the problem. Um, Governor Rick Scott and the Republican run legislative um, courts, they are, they just passed a law, where they're thinking about passing a law, that ex-felons um, cannot vote in non-citizens of the court. Um, this issue is a national problem because 1.5 million um, people in Florida are ex-felons and they are unable to vote right now as of 2012. Um, one out of 10 Florida adults and nearly one-fourth African Americans cannot vote because of ex-felon convictions. And it's by far the highest in the nation. Florida is leading in the nation of um, ex-felons not doing a lot of vote. With Florida being a big swing type of state when um, it comes to voting, every vote counts. Um, we should be worried about why ex-felons aren't able to vote because if we want um, a certain person in office that we think is going to be beneficial, everyone needs to vote. And they can change um, the outcome of a vote. Um, the negative effects, um, in a journal article, how U.S. rules on a form of felons voting can swing presidential elections by Harry Eaton, published in 2012, of the issue of the Hope, um, Huffington Post, forty percent of African Americans are ex-felons, and seventy to eighty percent would have voted Dem Democrat between nineteen seventy-two and two thousand. Al Gore would have been in office instead of George W. Bush <coughs> because if ex-felons were allowed to vote, he would have won majority of Florida. Thank 
solution outcome and the solution to this problem having us feeling being allowed to vote will be beneficial to us and to them because they just want to be back into society just as we are. And do we have anybody else after Christine today? Thank you. You, you don't want to. So, yeah, I know. Something <laughs> tells me. Travis. Okay, everybody smile and be very supportive one more time for Christine, hold on. See, so Christine, come over just to. Okay, all right. All right. Let me know. Travis, I am going to miss you. Because I get a nice chuckle. That means a lot to me. Good.